Then one day, I decided to make Anandapur my home. Now I follow in her footsteps as a caretaker of these wonderful winged creatures. And now, this is my favorite part of each day, as the birds fly here to join in a dance to welcome you. time to making another poor or welcoming all oh, place for friends like Cleveland. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I love to gather adventurers and wilderness explorers like you here. <laughs> Some of our local macaws. <laughs> I'm proud to be a senior wilderness explorer from the local Chiria tribe, Moor Lodge. Oh, this is a mudra, a hand gesture for Chiria, which means bird. And more means peacock in the Hindi language. And today we have another senior wilderness explorer visiting our gathering. He asked if he could bring his dog along. And since we are friends to all, I was happy to oblige. Adventurers, please welcome Russell and Doug. Hello, my name is Russell. I am a wilderness explorer in Tribe 54, Sweat Lodge 12. You stop, Lodge Russell. Tell us about your furry friend. He's my dog. We found him in South America. And he's trained. Shake, boy. <laughs> Speak, boy. Hi there. Oh, boy. Oh, you can talk. How does this work? Please do not talk that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> here. Not right. okay. Hey, you're speaking Hindi? And English. <laughs> More like English. <laughs> Tell us your name, boy. My name is Doug. I have just met you, and I love you. Oh, I love you too, Doug. A good wilderness explorer loves all animals. Just like our motto said. <gasps> exactly. We say, An explorer is a friend to all, be it plant or fish or tiny mole. You all know this part. Everyone repeat after us. The wilderness wilderness must must be explored. explored. Now you. The wilderness must be explored. Caw, caw. Roar. Caw, caw. Roar. Oh, wonderful job. Hey, boy, we made it to India. I think we'll get a travel badge for that. <laughs> sure, Bosh, that's great. We have almost everyone here except for one of my good friends. Like me, she's one of the caretakers of the birds who have made Anandapur their home. 
please welcome my friend Donna Sue. Hello. Hello everyone, welcome and namaste. In my time here, I've learned to interpret the bird's behavior, natural behavior, to better understand them. And you can too. Now, has anyone here ever been on a great bird adventure before? We did, we did, with our bird friend, Kevin. Oh, who's Kevin? She lives near Paradise Falls, a place lost in time. She goes gaga for chocolate. Oh, wait a minute, you fed a bird chocolate? Oh my, no, I never ever feed a bird chocolate. Oh. Really? Uh, but she must have been a very special bird. Oh, sure. She's very special. None are like Kevin. Oh, I do miss the bird and Kevin. Yes, I do. Hey, I have a great idea. What does Kevin look like? Oh, I know. Like a bird. <laughs> Good point, Doug. Anything more specific? Kevin has long legs. She can run very fast. Colorful. Wow. And big. Tall, fast, colorful, loud, and big. Sounds like you had an amazing adventure. Yes, and now we're ready for our next bird adventure. Well, you know that's great, because I think we all are. Are you all ready to meet more birds that call this place home? Oh boy! Let me go get my camera for my adventure book. Come on, Doug! Hey, look, it's Miles! <gasps> Russell Doug, hurry back! <laughs> Hi, buddy. Well, hello. Yes, that is Miles, and he is called the Trumpeter Hornbill from Africa. Now, these birds are amazing. They are built for stream flying. They can actually maneuver and dart in and around trees, catching flying insects straight out of the air without losing a spoon. Oh, came to say hello. <laughs> My shoulder pad. <laughs> I know. Would all of you like to see just how Miles flies in the wild? Wonderful. Okay, all help. We're going to create a forest in the wild right now. So, if you'll see from the end of the row, here in our lower centre section, stand up and step into the aisle. Then turn to face the explorer just across the aisle, directly across from you. Next, facing each other, raise your arms like this, like the curved branches of a canopy of trees. Great, we have a forest. Now hold it. Alrighty, that is a great looking forest. If I can say so myself, Miles, come on over here. Now, Miles is very fast. He's going to fly straight through your arms, right there, right under you. Here he comes. Oh. Woo! That was beautiful. So much great job. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get the explorers on this side to create a canopy of trees. So, if you'll see them on the end of the road, we're going to do the same thing. Stand and face the explorer just across the aisle from you and raise those arms like this, like a canopy of trees. Great, you have another forest. And hold it. Thank you. Alrighty, so once again, he's extremely fast. Stand real still, here he comes. Oh, oh let's give all of our volunteers a hand. Miles, you are truly amazing. I don't have any insects, but I have this great. Here we go. Have a treat. Whoa! Oh, I got it! That's awesome! And that's why <laughs> there are no flying grapes in Africa! <laughs> oh, Miles, you are hot today! Mm. Oh my goodness. We'll see you later. I know. It's way too much fun out here, but you have to go. Come on. We'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> All the way in. <laughs> yep, the same window where you go in every day. <laughs> and that's the line. Miles, our trumpet to hold you. He's such an amazing flyer. Hey, hey. Find the birdie. 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 Point. Did we miss the birds? Oh, not to worry, Russell. We have so many more birds to show you. In fact, you're right on time. Really? I don't see anything. Um, guys, over there. Where? I do not see anything over the party! Wow, he has a big beak. Just like Kevin. Yeah, he does. This guy is a ground hornbill from Africa. My friend here, the small mailman, told me that I am from South America. Yeah. She's not so. Yes, I am. 
Now the ground hornbill gets its name from that large beak and they spend most of the time on the ground looking for food and they use that large beak that has the force of a sledgehammer. Oh yes. And they can hey, also gently- Hey, let me get my camera. Oh, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, no, hey, the camera, oh my gosh. Come on, Chris, somebody come out and get this. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, 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 he's not angry. No, really, that's a natural behavior for a ground hornbill to pick up their food. Sorry about your camera. My wilderness explores camera. Ooh. Are you all right, small mailman? Camera's fast, but not so wild. Oh, yes, very, very fast. Well, um, being fast and smashing food are some of the behaviors but have learned to survive in the wild. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You know, and there are birds that live around people, mm -hmm. right? There are uh, pigeons and there are doves. And around, around here there are guinea fowl, uh, there are cardinals and crackles and oh my goodness, of course chickens! I think, I, like I think he wants to play tag! <laughs> oh, chicken birdies! Oh, oh, come here you chicken birdies! Come here! We'll be come back, chicken birdies! Go, oh, go, oh, go oh. back, boy! <laughs> I think they're in for more than they can handle. Chickens are fast and pretty smart. <laughs> There are all kinds of birds with special talents, and others with charm and personalities that make them so lovable. I don't like parrots. Oh, they grow on you. Oh, but they make very challenging pets in the home. <laughs> oh, they can bite. And scream. And they poop everywhere. Oh, not the best roommates. Very true. But some of these birds are so smart that they can mimic what they hear from the world around them. Just like Keto! <laughs> I love this funny parrot. Keto makes me laugh every time. <laughs> Thank you, Flannery. Well, Keto is a double yellow headed Amazon parrot, and Keto's lived with a human family for quite a while, learned how to sing, but also learned some animal impressions. Want to hear some animal impressions? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, here we go. How about your um, scary tiger? <laughs> Oh, that was a scary oh, tiger, Keto. <laughs> oh. Does Keto have anything a little bit tamer? Yes. Can you do your sweet little kitty cat? Ah, <laughs> oh, what a good bird you are. Well, guess what? I think it's time for Keto to sing his song. You all want to hear Keto's song? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready, Keto? Let's sing. Oh, my God. She also likes applause, so if you like Keto, show her what you liked her. Yay, she said. Yay, I think they're a great audience too. But you know what, Keto? Yes, I just gave you a big old peanut because you're such a, such a good girl, or such a good boy, whatever it may be. But guess what, Keto? I think it's time to say goodbye. Yes, it's time to say goodbye. Can you say goodbye? Can you say goodbye? There it is. That's Keto. Our double yellow head Amazon. As we say, Keto. Everyone say bye to Keto. <laughs> Keto is one in a million. It'd be hard to find another bird just like that. And that singing voice. Mm. <laughs> <sighs> be my friend. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please be my friend. <sighs> I am bad enough tracking chickens. So are the chickens fast like Kevin? Kevin's much bigger. She could outrun them. Really? How big is Kevin's wingspan? Wingspan? I know that. It's how long it is from tip of wing to tip of wing. Wow, that's right, Russell. 
So how big is Kevin's wingspan? Huge, like this big. There are birds with much larger wingspans. Oh, yeah, like the albatross, the largest flighted bird in the world. The albatross's wingspan would be like what well, Marissa and I, standing fingertip to fingertip. Wow, that's big, but I'm pretty sure Kevin's much bigger. Oh yes, that bird Kevin is much, much bigger. Oh really, like that bird? Ah, a dinosaur! Scary birdie, scary birdie! Oh, oh hey, hey guys. Stay away from me! She isn't scary, just big. Oh, oh, don't, don't you just look by it, Scuffle. Maybe I should wait here to see if they come back. Well, in the meantime, I'd like to introduce you to the Andean condor. <laughs> we call her Sadie. She's the largest bird we have here. This bird has a wingspan. Get out. Ten, Ten feet wide, Ten. you say? Oh my goodness, no wonder they thought she was a dinosaur. I understand about this big when they're only a few months old. Yes, when they're only two to three months old, they'll be this size, and they won't get any larger. Ah. How can we tell a female condor from a male condor? Oh, cool, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> the females, when they're adults, have beautiful red eyes, and the males have a little skin tag right on the top of their beak called a crumple. There it is. Oh my goodness. Well, Sadie, you were awesome, but I think it's time to say goodbye. I think it's time for you to carry on. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving so soon? Let us know if you've seen Doug and Russell. I hope they come back. I think they will. Oh. Uh, hi, Doug. Russell, oh, glad you're back. I, 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 I do not like the scary birdie. Oh, there's nothing to be afraid of, Doug. Remember, a wilderness explorer is friend to all. That's right. And all animals are friends to us. If you appreciate them, they will show you just how wonderful they are. Well, oh, oh, show me the birdie. Well, one of our favorites around here is yeah. called the crowned crane. Yeah. I'll have you join us in one second. <gasps> there he is. Everyone, this is Fraser. Fraser Crane. <laughs> this is one of many birds here that help connect us to a world of stories and adventures. <laughs> Say hi, Doug. Hi there. I like the birdies. Oh, and they like you, Doug. The Crowned Crane is the national bird of Uganda, <laughs> a country in Africa where they're practically royalty with their tall gold crowns. <laughs> Can't you imagine them flying over the plains of Africa? I like the birdies! How beautiful! Now the crown crane gets its name, of course, from that crest of golden feathers on the top of his head. We're going to see if we can give you two a closer look. Here he comes! Look at that wingspan! Yeah! So nice! Come on over here and let these folks see you. Hey, would one of you two like to feed Fraser? I do! Okay, come on over here. I'm gonna give you his favorite bowl, his favorite treat bowl. He really goes gaga for bird seed. <laughs> my hair sticks up like that, my mom makes me brush it. <laughs> You're so funny, but like I said before, you know, that's a, those are actually feathers right down to his little eyelashes are specialized feathers. You were fantastic. We'll see you later, Fraser. Bye-bye. And that's Fraser Crane. Oh, that's a very friendly bird. Well, you know, our next bird comes from South America and actually has a behavior that looks a lot like hopping. I have not seen a birdie hop before. Well, you know, if anyone can, I too can, can. And here comes a couple of our explorers who have volunteered to help demonstrate the hopping behavior of our next bird. Who do we have here? Please welcome Sammy and Kenny. Sammy and Kenny. Now, did you two know that toucans are actually considered to be magical creatures? That's right. The indigenous people of South America say that the toucan can send messages between the living and spirits. 
but even immortalizing the night sky in the constellations with Kana. And there we go, let's meet our beautiful bird. That's Sunny, our toko toucan. Wow, cool beak. Yes, he does, he has a beautiful beak. So, this is what we're going to put your arms out like this, nice and straight, like branches. And, no, oh, I think that looks pretty good. You ready? Here we go. Good job! I'll try it again. Let's see if we can hop back to Katie. Ready? Nicely done. Now, the next thing he's going to do, he's going to fly straight across us, all the way over that wall where you see that hand waving. That's what we call our stage hand right there. <laughs> all right, what do you say, Sunny? You wanna go all the way over there? Look at him go, and how about a great big hand for our very great volunteers. Thank you both, you are awesome. What a cool bird. Oh, that is a good and smart birdie. <laughs> yes, he was, but I have to tell you, the next bird is my favorite bird. Yes, probably my favorite animal of all time. Look, Donna Sue. The bald eagle. The symbol of pride for the United States of America. Everyone, this is home. A bald birdie? Well, the bald eagles aren't actually bald. That's right, Russell. See, they get their name from an old English word piebald, which means two colors, like the brown and the white. I think bald eagles are absolutely majestic. Yes, and they are inspiring too. You know, not long ago the bald eagle was placed on the endangered species list. But then, through conservation efforts, we all played a part in their population recovery. And I am happy to say that the bald eagle is no longer an endangered species. <laughs> cool story, right? Thank you, Hope. Now. I would like to introduce my favorite feathered friend, the peacock. In ancient mythology from India, a story is told that once the tail feathers of more peach were dull, but in gratitude for the more protection of the people, the peacock was given his beautiful iridescent feathers. During moulting season, peacocks lose their feathers, but they will come back beautiful and strong. So now, as the national bird of India, the peacock is a symbol of pride, protection, benevolence, joy, and humility. That's why I'm delighted to share this beautiful creature with all of you. I call him Nabil, which is a very noble name. Not only is peacock more in Hindi, but more is also the name of my wilderness explorer's lodge. What a beautiful birdie! A very, very beautiful birdie! Wow, this has been a great bird adventure. Well, Russell, did you know that there are literally thousands and thousands of species of birds all over the world? And we really don't have to go very far to find them. There are many in your own backyard, your local parks back home. And to get you folks started on your next great bird adventure, check out the Nature's Passport app. Great idea, Donna Sue. Just ask any wilderness explorer's troop leader to find out more. You know, whether it's a cannon bird, <laughs> or an eagle, an owl, a toucan, or a peacock, you'll discover birds and other animals with incredible stories. And discovering their story is just the beginning of your adventure. Hey, check it out, Sunny's back! That's a cool bird! Get a picture of it for me! Fly around like a toucan! Yeah! Woohoo! I too can run around like the birds! And don't forget, check out our spectacle album! Hey! Adventure is out there! Oh, so many birdies! I love them all! Like Doug and Russell, we can have our own adventure any day. Nature and all of its wonderful creatures are all around. All we have to do is look up. Oh, chicken birdies again! Oh, I love chicken birdies! Come here, oh, come here, be my friend, be my friend! Oh, I, I love chicken birdies! Oh, I love them! Must 
be explored. Bye. Goodbye. Oh, we'll see you later at the Wilderness Explorers Clubhouse. That's right. right. Oh yeah. Wait up, Doug. Thank you all for visiting with all of our feathered friends here today. And until we see you again, like birds in flight, let's go.